My name is Stephen Heron and I am the Director of Public Prosecutions. Today, together with the Senior Prosecution Team, I have met with the families of those bereaved and those injured on Bloody Sunday. We have informed them that, following careful consideration of all of the available evidence, a decision has been taken to prosecute one former soldier, Soldier F, for the murder of James Ray and for the murder of William McKinney. Charges will also be brought for the attempted murder of Joseph Freel, Michael Quinn, Joe Mahan and Patrick O'Donnell. In respect of the other suspects reported to us by police, including 16 former soldiers and two alleged official IRA members, it has been concluded that the available evidence is insufficient to provide a reasonable prospect of conviction. In these circumstances, the evidential test for prosecution is not met and decisions not to prosecute have been taken in respect of the remaining 18 individuals reported by police. I am acutely aware that it has been a long road for the families to reach this point and today will be another extremely difficult day for many of them. As prosecutors we approach our responsibilities with complete impartiality but not without compassion for all those who are impacted by our decisions. There was perhaps a level of expectation around the prosecution decisions in light of the findings of the Bloody Sunday inquiry. But I would highlight two important distinctions. First, much of the material which was available for consideration by the inquiry is not admissible in criminal proceedings due to the strict rules of evidence that apply. Therefore, most of the previous statements as to conduct made by the soldiers cannot be used against the individual concerned as a basis for prosecution. Second, the inquiry reached a number of findings couched in terms of probability, which is substantially different to the standard of proof required in criminal cases of beyond reasonable doubt. Having outlined these points, I would stress that the prosecution decisions in no way undermine the finding of the inquiry that those killed or injured were not posing a threat to any of the soldiers. Today we have outlined the reasoning for our decisions with families and we are committed to further engagement to help them understand those reasons. In the interest of openness and transparency we are also publishing a summary on our website. This is intended to provide the public with a high level of confidence in the independence and integrity of our decision making. I would remind everyone to please exercise caution when commenting on today's decisions. There are significant reporting restrictions still in place from the Bloody Sunday inquiry and as criminal proceedings are now to be commenced there should be no reporting which could prejudice these in any way. Thank you.